Hello friends, so uh, we have taken another uh, question to solve here and we are again solving a quadratic equation by Sridharacharya's method which is also called quadratic formula method so we have to solve this given equation where abx square plus b square minus ac times x minus bc equals to 0 so if you notice here there are non, no numerals in the equation all are in terms of constants uh, represented by a, b and c and the variable is x correct so how do we solve uh, this equation so before that let's revise what is Sridharacharya's rule so there we understood that the solution to a given quadratic equation will be of the form of minus b plus under root d upon 2a and x is equal to minus b minus under root d upon 2a right now here don't get confused with um, the a and b which is given in the equation here and the a and b's we, we are writing here so in the formula a is coefficient of coefficient of x square okay and b is coefficient of coefficient of x and c is coefficient of or it's a constant term correct so don't get confused so a b and c here are in the formula this formula when we are talking about this formula then we are talking about a b c which are coefficient of x square of b x and constant term respectively okay but in the given question a b is in this equation a b these are different from what of what we are talking about here okay so hence let us now try to solve it so first of all d what is d d is nothing but b square minus 4ac correct so just to avoid confusion we can write small a as a so hence you can you can say uh, in this case let us say this is capital a this is equal to capital b and this is equal to capital c where the equation is a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero so hence what is a a is given as in this question a is nothing but if you see a is a b what's b b is b square minus a c and what's c capital c is minus b c right these are the three things a is a b b is b square minus a c and c is minus b c okay so let's first find it out find the discriminant 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 is b square minus 4 a c okay so what is b square in this case let me just write i i should not write the small letters anymore why because we are using capital letter for the equation right so hence d is capital b square minus 4 capital a c okay in this case just to avoid confusion and for no other reason we are now treating it as capital a b and c okay because there are small a b and c in the given equation okay so what is capital b square b square will be nothing but small b square minus a c whole square and whole square minus 4 times a a is a b and c is minus b c okay so let us calculate this this is nothing but you open the brackets up so you'll get b to the power 4 minus 2 times b square times a c plus a square c square isn't it and here if you see this is plus 4 times b square a c 4 times b square a c and let's simplify further so it is b to the power 4 minus 2 b square a c plus 4 b square a c plus a square c square let's simplify further you will get b to the power 4 plus 2 b square a c plus a square c square isn't it which is nothing but if you look closely it is nothing but b squared squared plus 2 times b squared times a c plus a, a c whole squared whole squared this is nothing but a c whole squared let me rewrite it properly so this is a c whole squared so if you notice this is again giving us a feel of a you know square of a binomial so hence this is nothing but if you see this is b square plus a c whole square so d is this much this was our d now what is the solution then x is equal to minus b plus root of d upon 2a and 
x is equal to minus b minus root of d upon 2a both would be the solution again so instead of a small a b and c i should be writing capital a sorry for this confusion so i should i'll be writing plus b minus b plus root d upon 2 capital a capital a 2 capital a and similarly here it will be minus capital b and here it will be 2 capital a right 2 capital a okay now what let's dip, you know deploy the values and get the solution so x is minus b minus b is my friends minus b what is b here so minus capital b will be simply minus of b square minus ac so hence it is minus b square minus ac plus root of d d is b square plus ac whole squared upon twice of a and a was my dear friends what was a let's see what was a a was a b so a b yep if you see a is a b yep so now next solve this and similarly here x will be equal to nothing but minus b square minus ac then minus root of d so b square plus 4 sorry not 4 ac whole squared under root divided by divided by 2ab fair enough now what is it this will be nothing but minus b square minus ac and this will be simply there, there is a square and there is a square root this square will be cancelled by the square root right so hence it is b square plus ac divided by 2ab and similarly here just a change of sign nothing else it is minus uh, sorry this will be in the brackets yep minus b square minus ac minus b square plus ac upon 2ab right so i'm i'm finding both the solutions simultaneously so now open the brackets you'll get minus b square plus ac plus b square plus ac upon 2ab first solution is this so this is x equals to x equals to and here x equals to minus b square plus ac minus b square minus ac upon 2ab isn't it so hence what will you get you will get here minus b square plus b square goes so 2ac sorry this is b here so 2ac twice ac ac plus ac 2ac divided by 2ab and this is one x equals to this much and the other solution is x is equal to this ac and this ac will go so minus 2b square by 2ab we can simplify further we get x is equal to this 2 this 2 will go if a is not equal to 0 then this a will also go so hence x is equal to c by b and here x is equal to this 2 and this 2 will go if b is not equal to 0 then this this b and this b will go so minus b upon a okay so these are the two solutions so x is equal to c and c by b and x is equal to mine x equals to minus b by a is the solution so x equals to c by b and x equals to minus b by a is the solution